The birthing of a blood diamond. Shark week. Ant slow. Hey YouTube, it's me, Lucy, and today we're talking about the red coats are coming. Periods. To be very technical, the uterine lining just sheds, comes out the vagina opening, and it looks like blood, but it's not blood, right? This is a very interesting topic for me to be talking about because it's not very on brand for what I normally discuss on YouTube. But then I took a step back and I realized that around 50% of the world's population will have or has already gotten their period. So at the end of the day, it's not really like this top secret topic. It's just a topic. So here I am telling the world I, Lucy Fink, have my period. <laughs> That's out there. Periods are a very interesting story for me to discuss because I actually got my period quite late in my life. I was in 10th grade, about 15, and I wanted my period so badly. I asked Santa for my period for Christmas. I asked my parents if I could have my period. At camp, I used to draw in my underwear with red marker and tell my counselor, I got my period. And she was like, no, you didn't lose it. That's red marker. And I was like, oh. Well, I think I have cramps. I just could not wrap my brain around the fact that these other girls around me were getting it, and I wasn't. I would sit at home and I would think, why has this higher figure in heaven above not blessed me yet with that red monthly flow? And then I realized everyone's on a different cycle and it comes for everyone when their body's ready for it. I wasn't ready for it until January 7th, 2008. And on that blessed day, it was in the middle of fourth and fifth period, I went to the bathroom, and I sat on the toilet and as I was wiping, I noticed a little bit of period. I don't know how most people reacted when they first got their period. Please comment below and let me know if you were as excited as I was because I screamed in the stall. And I call my mom and I'm like, mom, she arrived. She is here. She has arrived. Aunt Flo has come to town. All of my friends knew about this because everyone knew how excited I was to get her. I have wall posts from 2008 from some of my best friends saying like, yeah, woo, congrats, woo. And it, it got so out of hand, like friends congratulating me and sending me smiley faces. And it just got so out of hand that my brother wrote on my wall and was like, Lou, it's really weird that your friends are congratulating you publicly. And he was right, it might have been weird, but everyone celebrates in their own ways. Now, if we fast forward to 2017, so it's been about nine years since I've had my period, I'm not all that excited about her anymore. <laughs> On the one hand, because I'm a sexually active person, I'm very excited when I get my period, and I'm like, yeah, we got past teen pregnancy. <laughs> but on the other hand, I'm like, oh, Four days of this? Pads and tampons, another hot topic. Do you prefer pads or tampons? Comment below, let me know, because I am a tampon girl. I think pads make me feel like I'm just sitting in my own filth. <laughs> this is really graphic now, this is getting graphic, but I will always remember the first time I put a tampon in. Not gonna lie, my best friend put it in for me. <laughs> it was like a bathroom experience at a bar mitzvah, and she showed me how to push it in, she showed me the right angle because a lot of people don't know the proper angle. A lot of people try to just stick it straight up, but you really need to tilt it a little. She was like, relax, relax. You'll see that it's not actually painful if you are not clenching so tightly. So then I just relaxed and she pushed it up and then we released the trigger together and then I had a tampon in and I was so excited about it. As for period sex, I think you do you. I would say it's all about your comfort level and your partner's comfort level. You guys need to decide together if the fact that she's flowing changes the dynamic of the situation. And if not, then totally just do it like normal. <laughs> if you're a young person and you have yet to get your period, don't freak out. I was freaking out and I would have loved if someone who was a little older had made a video saying don't freak out. I think that everybody's body is different and you should speak to your GYN. I want you to take anything away from this video. It is that you should be completely open and willing to talk about your period with anyone that wants to help you, whether it's a friend, a parent, a guidance counselor. You can talk to people. You can comment below. I'll be your friend. I'll answer your questions. I'll look stuff up on WebMD. I'm here for you in your period time of need. Thanks for watching this video about periods. Click here to watch another video from Refinery29 and right here to subscribe.